In a previous video in this section, we looked at how to convert a positive integer in base 10 deanery into base 16 hexadecimal. If you've not watched the video yet, go and watch it now. It's titled Hexadecimal Representation. In this video, we will use the knowledge you've already gained to present two conversion challenges. You will then pause the video and try to come up with a solution yourself. Once you have an answer, unpause the video to see the example. If you get stuck, don't worry, just watch the video and work through the examples with us. Your first challenge is to convert the deanery base 10 number 214 into binary and hexadecimal. Pause the video now and have a go. OK, let's see how you did. So the first thing to do is to write out the number 214 into base 2 binary. Here we have our standard binary waiting line and once we've done the conversion we end up with 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 0. So that's 128 plus a 64 plus a 16, a 4 and a 2 to get the total of 214. That's quite straightforward. Now remember, to convert into hexadecimal, we group the binary into sets of 4. And then we apply the mini weighting lines from above. So here we have a 4 plus a 2 for a total of 6. Over here, again, we apply our own mini weighting line, so make sure to scrap these values. Go 1, 2, 4, 8. We have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Of course, we don't have 13 in hex, so we come over here and we read across and we find that 13, 1, 1, 0, 1 is D and there's a single unique value in hex. Don't forget, this all works. So as we said, we can see 1101 is 13 and D and this value here, 0110 is 6. So 214 in base 2 binary is 11010110 and in base 16 hexadecimal is D6. OK, let's try the second challenge. This time we want you to convert the binary base 2 number 10010100 into deanery and then hexadecimal. Pause the video and have a go. OK, let's see how you did. First of all, we convert it into base 10 deanery. Again, we have our binary waiting line. So we're simply going to write the binary base 2 number nice and carefully underneath the waiting line. Make sure to line up the binary digits correctly under the weightings. Now we simply add up the columns that have a 1 in. So we have 128 plus a 16 plus a 4 to give us a total of 148. So that's the number in base 10. Now to get it into base 16, just as before, we simply group into sets of 4. This set of 4 has a single binary digit in the 4 column, so this is a 4. With this second weighting we replace the column headings again with 1, 2, 4, Eight. As we can see, we have a 1 in the 8 column and a 1 in the 1 column. 8 plus 1 is 9. So in base 16, the value is 9, 4. Be careful to call it 9, 4 and not 94. And once again, obviously, the values, as you can see, transpose across to the table. As with all these things, practice makes perfect. Set yourself various deanery, binary and hexadecimal numbers and try converting them backwards and forwards until it becomes second nature. 